Sponsored by Battle Tribe. For awesome stickers, patches, t-shirts, art, and more, check out our Etsy store, Battle Tribe. Hey everybody, it's Matt Rendar. Just wanted to do a quick overview, a hobby progress of uh, a bunch of Battletech miniatures in my uh, City Fight terrain. I've been 3D printing and working on and painting slowly. So, huge fan of uh, the Battletech universe and ever since uh, the late 80s. When I got into it as a kid, huge, huge fan. But um, the miniatures are definitely lacking back in the day. And um, they have come leaps and bounds. The new Catalyst Labs, um, the plastics they did with their Kickstarters and everything, they really look like the MechWarrior mechs from the video game and the Battletech one from the turn-based game. And I just can't get enough of them. Pre-built and just ready to paint. And they just come out awesome. So. Just, I posted on a couple forums some of my uh, stuff, but just wanted to give you a quick little look. One question, the first question I get asked is um, where get, where did the streets come from? It's actually Drop Zone Commander, which is a 10 millimeter strategy game. They make uh, cardboard tiles and buildings, which I'll show at the end of the video, but really cool. I use them for Robotech and uh, any mm. other types of small... Um, what do you call it? Modern combat, like six millimeter, 10 millimeter, but very cool. So right off the bat, some of the buildings 3D printed. I still gotta finish them and detail them up, but this is, these buildings are from Hardware Studios, I believe, you can buy the files. So I got the starter pack, some of the buildings, like this one, really nice, man. But um, I'd like to have all that, that height, so. And then, oh, I'm trying to remember the name. I'll try to remember the name. These are 3D printed. I print them in resin. Really cool. Oh, I'm trying, I can't remember for the life of me the name of the company. I'll, I'll put it in the comments. But um, I got them on myminis.com. They have the files. So I bought like one of their, um, I think it was Asian Buildings number three pack, which had all these different little apartment buildings and they just little house really cool so i'm starting to um put the little houses on like plastic card so i can instantly just have like a little neighborhood so you could tell it's a little their neighborhood's a little rough <laughs> it's a little worn out i 3d printed these cars off of um thingverse and then these are from hardware studios so really cool see some more but really cool just having a good time painting all this up you can tell, tell i'm doing uh some wolf clan max painting them up they're coming out really cool you have the famous marauder but just adding the cars on the streets really just you know this gives a sense of scale i'm gonna do some more stuff like telephone poles and lights and stuff like that have some civilians walking around i gotta cast up some uh small human you know human size six millimeter figures i think they'd be kind of cool a couple of them running around you can see i did the uh optimus prime colors and so forth but really cool you can tell i have some um gray death legion max and then i got for the marauder i went with the green you know based on the 3025 famous pilots i did the marauder uh the bounty hunter pilot Always a favorite, favorite as a kid. I got the, another Greth. Gray Death Legion, Thunderbolt. Watching Duncan Rhodes' How to Paint Tutorials, I was like, I have to do some Karita. And the mech, I got, I got a Wolverine, a Shadowhawk, an awesome, a Catapult. Over here on this street, I got a, what do you call it, Rifleman? really cool another green I got a wasp up on that building 
actually, no, I think it's a Valkyrie. This is the Wasp. Very cool. Got a Stinger. And then I got Commando in front. Grey Death Legion. I got a Battle Master. And then the famous, one of my favorites is the Warhammer. Very cool. But just the, the road tiles and the, uh, the buildings and the little cars give a nice sense of uh, scale. You know, try to make. That's what I like about the giant robot genre is just like the, uh, the idea of these giant mechs walking through a city, stomping on cars and blowing buildings apart. Really cool. An archer. A little locust. One of my favorites. Really cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little overview of my Battletech. Hopefully, I'm going to get a game in soon and do some Battletech or Alpha Strike. And uh, I'll definitely do a uh, battle report on my channel. Real quick, this is an example of some of the tiles from uh, Drop Zone Commander. You can find the city at two. They have the undestroyed city, which I have, and then they have like a destroyed city. Here's an example. There's a bunch of buildings that come in it. Really cool. But they pop together, you close the top, and then you have a, a nice size, you know, a nice size building. A little big with the windows for the Battletech mechs. But you can, as you can see, a ton of uh, buildings are in there and apartments and so forth. So definitely worth picking up. So, get a Nova. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, checking this out. I hope this inspires you to uh, do something kind of the same. Really gives a lot of depth and uh, makes your tabletop come alive for the, your bat games with Battletech. Everybody, take care and happy gaming. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.